Welcome back to another demonstration. Today I will be showing you the app Tech Safety. Tech Safety is an app that offers tools to learn more about how to be safe when using technology. This app is great to help find tools for those who may be experiencing anxiety from harassment or other safety issues when using technology. When you open the app here, you have a home screen that has six options for pages to go to. There is also a Find My Way tab at the top and four tabs at the bottom. We are at the Home Screen tab, but we also have the Resources tab, where you will find a list of resources to choose from. We also have the Bookmarks tab, which you can use to bookmark pages that you want to check on later. And then we have the Help tab, which has helpful details about the app that you may want to know. But let's go back to the Home Screen, and let's go to the Find My Way tab. You can do this by clicking on the Find My Way tab at the top of the screen. It will then take you to this page where it will have a series of options to choose from. This is helpful for those who may not know what information they are looking for but still want to find help. Now just to show you an example here, we are going to try out one of these tabs and see what it tells us. So let's try the I need help and someone to talk to tab. When you click on this tab, you will go to a page that has a bunch of help hotlines. These are hotlines that may be helpful to you if you are experiencing safety issues or if you are curious about safety information. Let's try one more. Let's try to increase privacy. And let's go to social media harassment. Here it will show you a list of things that you can do, tips and resources to help when you're experiencing social media harassment and how to increase your privacy from it. This is another reason that I find the Find My Way tab helpful because if you don't know where to start, this is a very helpful way to know where to go. So now if we go back to the home screen, Let's try out one of these six options for pages to choose from. Here we have phone safety. This page will give you a list of options to choose from to learn about phone safety. First we have safety about the smartphone itself, which then gives you a list of what you can do, safety tips and resources, just like the other page in the Find My Way tab. This page can be really helpful when you want to learn more about safety when using your smartphone. I found it very helpful and encourage you to look at it if you try this app. On the phone safety page, we also have the location tab, which gives you information as well about location safety and what you can do, safety tips and resources. And then last on this page, we have the app safety information, which just as well has what you can do, safety tips and resources. All of this information can be very helpful, so I encourage you to look at it. Now if we go back to the home screen, we can check out another page. Let's go to the device safety page. On this page you will find a similar layout to the phone safety page. It has three pages of information to choose from except this time it's about computers, tablets, and gaming devices. Here you can learn about computer safety risks such as things like software that people may trick you into downloading that can monitor your computer. The tablet page has similar information to the computer page but it is also very helpful. And last, if we go to gaming devices, we can find helpful information for not only kids, but also parents who might have kids who play games. I find that this may be very helpful for parents who want to learn more about people who may be abusive online when their children are playing. Now if we go back to the home page, let's check out another page. Let's go to the harassment page. Here you can find a list of information about harassment. I found this to be very informative and encourage you to check it out. You can learn about things like harassment laws, text messaging, email harassment, phone and voicemail harassment, or even online harassment. If you are experiencing any harassment like this, I think you will find this page helpful, especially the tab for laws where they have the link to the womenslaw.org site. There you can find a lot of information that may help you in the future. Alright, let's go back to the home page again. Let's check out the fourth page, which is impersonation. When you go to this page, you will find a similar list like the harassment page. This will give you a list of information of how people may try to impersonate you. From things like them trying to steal your caller ID, using fake emails, fake social media, or even hacking your accounts. Let's look at one for an example. Let's go to fake social media. Here you can find information about why someone may make a fake social media account. Fake accounts, like ones that try to impersonate people, or people who go anonymous under an account and try to harass somebody. This page is helpful to learn how to deal with that effectively. 
Those who have experienced a fake social media page know how hard it can be, and so this page has effective resources that may help you out. The impersonation page can be really helpful to learn about what to do when someone is trying to impersonate you or harass you anonymously. All right, we're back at the home page. Let's check out the location safety page. Here you will find helpful information for when your location is being used. With devices like our smartphones, there are many apps that are tracking our location. This is why this page is really helpful. It has information, like this page about your general location, that can give you an idea of what to look out for when your location is being used. The layout of the location page is similar to the other pages. It has helpful information, tips, and resources that you can find. If you don't know how your location is being used, I encourage you to check this out. Now let's go back to the home page. And let's look at our last page, which is about online harassment. Similar to the harassment page, this has information about harassment. But this time, it's about online harassment. So things like social media, personal data and doxing, or browser privacy. Let's look at the personal data and doxing tab. Doxing is when someone shares personal information about you or your address online to make you feel threatened or harmed. Sadly, this is something that people do online, so if you do find yourself in this situation, here's some helpful information for you on what to do next. The layout of these information tabs are similar to the others where they give you helpful information, safety tips, and resources. Alright, let's go back to the home page again. And now let's look at the four tabs at the bottom, and let's go to the second one, which is resources. If you don't want to dig through all the information pages to find resources, here is the whole list all together. So let's look at one for an example. Let's go to talking with an advocate. Here you can find information on how to talk with an advocate. It will also give you resources like a hotline to call, a website to go to, an advocate locator, and your state domestic violence coalition. I think this is a really cool part about the app. I think they really went in depth with this page and even in the talking with an advocate page to think about all the possibilities that you could have for options. They really thought deeply about this. All right, let's go to the bookmarks tab to show you how to bookmark a page. So when you go to the bookmark tab, it will ask you to create a passcode. I have created a four digit passcode myself, so I will type it in. Right now I don't have any bookmarks, so let me show you how to add one for an example. Let's go to phone safety and say I'm reading up on some phone safety information. And let's say I was in the middle of reading about smartphone safety, and I want to remember where I left off. So in the top right corner I click the bookmark button. Then I go back and I can go to the bookmark tab, and I will see that smartphones has now been bookmarked. It is as easy as that. And now let's go to the last tab at the bottom, which is the Help tab. Here you can find a lot of information about the app itself or helpful details that you may need when you're looking for safety information. You can also do things like change the text size or the language of the app. And now with that said, that is all that the app has. So that is Tech Safety. If you're looking to learn more about safety when using technology, I encourage you to download this app. And I want to thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this video, and look out for more videos on assistive technology.